Hey guys, it's been a while. I haven't had a video uh, posted in about three weeks and I apologize for that. Um, <clears throat> I've had some, uh, I've had the flu and, and a few other things. I know it seems like I've been sick on every video. Uh, hopefully springtime gets here and we can shake this illness. Some upcoming videos. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do a longer term review on these lights, which just, just so you know, are working great. We're going to do a review on the seat covers. Uh, that we put on uh, they're doing okay I'll talk to you about the differences in seats and the way those fit uh, but they're pretty good and then we're gonna do a little bit off-roading in the Jeep right now I have something a little bit different in store uh, for this video there's a lot of questions about what vehicle uh, is most like the Jeep and what vehicle would be the biggest competition for a Jeep the Jeep is utilitarian. It has no redeeming ride qualities uh, except for off-road, really. Um, it's underpowered, typically. It has huge aftermarket support, though, and uh, it's a customizable vehicle. When you look at all the available vehicles that you can compare to, one of the ones that inevitably comes up is the Defender 90. Of course, in the United States, Defender 90s aren't readily available. Uh, they stopped importing them back in the mid-90s. And to get a decent one, you're talking about forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars. Well, I have a friend who who just recently got one, and uh, or got one a couple years ago, imported over. Uh, he actually got an early '80s model, a little diesel, and it is uh, it wasn't in the best shape, but he has restored it, and uh, or is in the process of restoring it. And I went over there the other day over to his house and uh, checked on the progress and I, I, I took some video. I wasn't planning on making a full video out of it, but I took a lot of video and it's kind of haphazardly put together. Uh, I just took some, some clips here and there. So uh, uh, hopefully you enjoy looking at this vehicle, a better video and kind of uh, talk a little bit more about it uh, in some future videos. Uh, once he gets some body panels on it start looking more and more like an actual defender uh, it's, it's pretty interesting um, what he did and what he bought and how he's going about it and uh, and it's a lot of work but it's gonna be nice when he gets done before we start the video guys here's what it looked like when he first got it uh, as you can see this is from afar so you can't really see the issues uh, the issues where there's a lot of rust on the frame the suspension the engine was weak uh, the interior was sparse. Of course, it is an 83, 84 model. Uh, here you can see he did a little work to it, made it pretty it up, but you still had the underlying issues with rust and the bad engine. Uh, so he decided to tear it down and get new engine and everything. When he tore it down, he realized they needed a new frame, which precipitated tearing it all the way down and getting a new galvanized frame from, from England. Uh, that came in and he started building it back up with all new parts going from the 2.5 to a, three, a 200 TDI, uh, and that's kind of where you see it now. So let's start the video. What year model is this? 80, 85. 85 Land Rover? Mm -hmm. Defend, well, they, they didn't call them Defender 90s back then, what they? 85 Land Rover 90. Land Rover 90, they just called them 90s. Defenders, I think. They didn't have land, they didn't have the um, Discovery, so they didn't have to differentiate. They had the 88s, the 109s, and then when so that's a 200 TDI Land Rover, right? And it had a, what'd you say that what had it? A, uh, a 2.5 NAD. 2.5 TDI. The single wire versus computer. So the old motor was normally aspirated, and this one's got a little turbo on it. Yeah, normally aspirated came from the factory with 68 horsepower. 68. Jeez, well that's a lot. That's neck snapping. My lawnmower, you know, my little John Deere 117 has 21 horsepower. Probably with the weight and all that, your John Deere tractor is just massive. But 110 will be fine with it being a diesel and with the gearing and the axles. This thing ought to do about 80 down the interstate. I got the other one up. I got the other one up to 80 once going down the hill. Shit, my Jeep Wrangler ain't going to do but 80. And it's got 190 horsepower. I mean, I guess I could potentially get it over 80, but I would probably die. So when you get done, you're basically going to have just built a Land Rover from scratch because looking at the main parts, which would be the frame, so you got a new frame. Then the next main part would be the engine. You got a new engine. 
So one of your original Land Rover, other than axles and, and wheels and tires, was going to be the that's same. The, that's the only thing on here. I'm not even using the same keys. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the gas, is that a new gas tank or is that the original, is that the gas tank that's on your old one? Okay, so the gas tank and, <laughs> and the axles. Nothing else you see is, I mean, there's the old one. Nothing else you see is the, is the original stuff. Yeah, let's look at the old one. Yeah. This was this Land Rover came from South Florida, right? I mean, I guess originally it came from Great Britain. It just came, it just came into the states from yeah, South Florida. So this is what a 32-year-old Defender looks like if it comes over from Great Britain and it hadn't been restored previously. Jeez. Swiss cheese. I think that's giving Swiss cheese a bad name. Man, this thing is jacked up. Here's the new uh, bed. That's a very pretty green. And there's the old 2.5 normally aspirated diesel uh, that would loft compression. Probably has some some bad internal issues. But we won't worry about that. Those are enormous lugs. Yeah, they're big. The cases. I don't know why they put these cases on. They're splitting. Oh, uh, yeah. You can buy them without them. I mean, you can buy some aftermarket without them. Just beauty. That drum is surprisingly small compared to how all the rest of it's built. Here's a pile of parts that Russ still has to build. Land Rover cage to go in it. Your doors are up there. The doors are painted, or are those your are those old doors? Those aren't. You've got the the other ones are paint. paint. Doors going back on it. They're uh, still the paint guy. What you gonna do your old ones? You gonna sell them? They're wind. The new ones are um, have slider tops on them. The old ones are windy, so I may I may rebuild the wind ups. Put them on later. But I saw you had spacers on there, so did, does it have to have spacers, or is that just something you're doing? This thing would poke out where the center cap goes. If you don't ah, gotcha. So the spacer just allows you to run uh, late model wheels. Mm -hmm. Some of the weird things Land Rover does, so rotors behind the hub, so you got to take the hubs off. That's weird to me. May not be weird to British people. So you may be asking why there's two tanks. Russ is going to run two tanks to get a little more mileage out of it because what's that main tank, Russ? About 16 gallons? Uh, yeah, something like that. 16 and this one's 12. Not giving it too much hell, I'll get around 30. But even on the, even if I'm too, even if I'm giving it hell, I'll get over 20. I can't get 30 miles per gallon on my Jeep if I have it on a trailer pulling it with something else. <laughs> so this is a CJ5 tank, right? Did yeah, you say? 72 CJ5 tank. And you're going to run a transfer, so there's going to be a transfer pump between this tank and that tank. That's right. And when that one starts going empty, showing empty on the gauge, he'll have a secondary gauge for this one as well, potentially. And he'll just hit the transfer switch and pump pump this into that. Just a 12 volt transfer for pump. Each. Filler for each. So you're going to have a body, you're going to have a, a, a back body filler like the newer Discoveries have, right? Or the older the, ones? The new Defenders have the back body filler. The other ones I had, said Discovery, I meant Defender. The other ones had a front body, and then I cut a Right there. It'll, it'll be a galvanized series filler spot there. Yeah, I saw that in there. So I, I saw your headlights are just seven inch basic headlights. Yeah, basic. Are you gonna go LED on those? I mean, this is just a basic, I mean, this is this is a Jeep headlight. Yeah, you I can put this in my Jeep. Advanced. It's just a seven inch, a Harley Davidson's use these. Do they? Yep, Jeeps use these. Uh, obviously Land Rovers. I'm sure that you, the, LEDs, you probably get a brighter headlight, but. Your bulkhead came from a, a, a left-hand drive uh, import then. Yeah, a guy in uh, Miami had it. You cut these holes yourself in this, bolt, in this side? Yes. That's a pretty good job. That's good. Yeah, I made some templates and did. No, I, I, if, if, if you've never driven a right-hand drive vehicle, it's weird as shit. I only did it once when Russ had this old, uh, when he had the old one. 
you think you're going to hit everyone head on until you get used to it and you turn swerve every time you switch gears. yes because your your body's thinking i gotta switch gears let me move that right hand but it's on the steering wheel when you're driving it around in right hand and your old one did you get a lot of uh, goofy ass looks from people uh, yeah, guy. People used to tell me they had a Jeep. They rebuilt a Jeep. Just like, <coughs> one guy came up to me when I was getting diesel one day and asked me if he could take a picture with it. Said him and his buddy built one just like this, a Jeep just a Jeep. like this. That's uh, a nice Jeep. When he was when he was younger, high school, or something like that. I was like, huh. Oh. Yep. If, if they don't know what it is, then I don't bother explaining it to them. Nice British Jeep. Most people think think it's a Toyota. I guess I guess I can see that. I mean, if you had a, one of these, an, an FJ40, and then a Jeep CJ next to each other, you would think, oh, well, that's the progression. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's the video. Uh, I wasn't really planning on making a full -on video on it. Uh, that's why it's kind of haphazardly put together and just kind of clips. I'll probably do a longer video of it. Uh, so please, if you like this video and want to see more, hit the like button and subscribe. There will be some more Jeep videos coming out. There will be some more Defender videos coming out. And, uh, and we'll try to make some entertaining content, guys. Uh, so y'all have a good day, and uh, I will see y'all later.